My name is Jeff Gudnick, and I'm with Geometric Americas based out of Dallas. And it is with great pleasure today that I'm able to introduce uh, our friend, uh, Paul Levin. Paul is from uh, Motorola Solutions and is responsible for mechanical engineering designs and making sure those designs are producible and manufacturable. There's a real effort within Motorola to uh, do air resource removal, and they're utilizing a tool from Geometric named DFM Pro. So again, with uh, uh, happiness here, let me introduce Mr. Paul Levitt. Thank you, Paul. Try to make this a little attractive as well as informational for you. Marola Solutions is, uh, has a lot of products as in May, available in uh, different uh, se sectors. Um, we mostly are uh, in our area uh, design scanners. So, uh, you know, Motorola is, prides itself on doing it, doing the parts right the first time around. Uh, so we have a lot of vested injuries as engineers to, to make sure that the parts are done well and that they go all the way through the process in order to ensure uh, good products at the end and less um, return bags. Um, we found out that about 20% of uh, the issues that we've dealt with were design oriented. So we're trying to focus on those 20%. You know, we know there's other issues in the process and manufacturing that we have to deal with and deal with in our designs. But right now, we're trying to just focus on the 20% uh, issues which are design specific. And we did that by a, couple, by a couple of ways. One is to focus on trying to get the engineer to be able to analyze the parts themselves. So as I go through a design of a part, I can now analyze it very easily within the, the, the pro engineering environment and be able to say, okay, I need to go and fix this. And I do this uh, throughout my life cycle, throughout the design process, which makes business sense to invest a little time up front and do it right and then have good results at the end. So that's why we try to do that up front. Um, we, uh, we also have reviews and we're starting to Expectable, expectable leaders of our group. So when we go in there, we want to make sure that we resolve as many issues as possible so that when we go to these reviews, the experts in front of them look at us and say, you know, a lot of issues with this part, no new cuts, no, um, you know, the wall thickness and sort of issues like that. So it's very important for personally for me to uh, make sure that we go through a design review that the parts are done well done. And this gives me the capability of being able to, to look at you know, wall thicknesses, uh, minimum uh, functions, undercuts. Um, uh, understanding all these things within the model helps me uh, make sure the whole directions of the part, making sure that everything is well drafted and there is no issue with walls, uh, thickness of walls, uh, top of the wall, bottom of the wall, there's rounds and you're going to make art uh, strong and, and reliable. And this is uh, one way of doing it. So EFM Pro came up to us and uh, gave us this uh, capability with some of these uh, tools. They uh, you know, gave us, the, we gave them the problem and said this is what we're trying to do, trying to improve our process. And, um, they have helped us uh, reduce, you know, being able to do uh, analysis up front helps us reduce cost in the So if you think about it, one problem can cost you five thousand dollars to get a tool fixed tools and then the manufacturer two weeks to actually implement that fix and then bring it back around. You still have to inspect it, review it. So if we just avoid that one issue, uh, it will save you money down the screen. So good quality is always important. Um, the subject matter experts are, are, have limited time, so having them just look at the end result prior to them uh, helps them and us make sure that the product goes out right. So we try to uh, take their time when we need it, but we also know that they're very busy with uh, other products. So it's very important for us and them to communicate information well. We run these reports ahead of time, help me able to, to 
know what the issues are and also come up with solutions. So this helps us in both ways, communication and uh, improve the quality. Having the manufacturer see these uh, issues up front, uh, having them give us feedback early on the design cycle helps us reduce the amount of issues that they're getting have, and therefore their parts that they're going to deliver to us are more likely to be exactly what we want. Um, we have uh, three reviews within the life cycle, so we requested that the engineers review the part before tooling, before SLAs, before um, manufacturing tooling is released. So that, and then to address as many targets as possible. Because of the lack of time, we didn't want to, um, we, we had limited 20 minutes, so we, we tried to, uh, I'm going to just do a demo for a little bit. But, uh, and, uh, and I can talk to you if you want. So the things that it can help us, uh, it helped us uh, identify features and problems with the model early on. We were able to fix it, run it again. Uh, the time to uh, do this quick analysis is it, it's, it's minutes. Uh, and since you're investing so much time in designing the part, making sure that you meet all the requirements best, Making sure we meet all the spacing and the abilities that uh, helps us in an automated within the, the, the part. Um, it pinpoints problems, it's not a problem solver, it just says, here's the issue. Uh, and we can see this issue as a problem. or not, this is the decision that you have to make. Um, the feedback is very visual, very hands-on, so you can select that addition and actually goes in, in, within your engineering and identify the issue for you, so you can go and fix it. And it, it allows us to be able to, to adjust it, so we want to make sure that the, there is no rounds on the you know, 0.25 meters or something like that, that, that you can check on those all the designs. We mostly focus on the injection only. <coughs> But I have worked with other team members that have worked on the cheap out portion of it or ran other things and it has helped it as well. So uh, it's a good tool, it has capabilities that we're using today and that are important to us. Uh, so this is a quick part that I worked on. Uh, this part took uh, six revisions and uh, it, it took It went through six revisions before actually becoming a part, and it actually became two parts. So, um, doing all the work on that part was very. Okay, hopefully that was good. Um, this is a stand for a. Uh, Scanner, this is a charger. Uh, this is the top housing. Uh, it has two snaps on the bottom and top, on the top on the end of it. It also has uh, connected to a second part that attaches, and it has uh, uh, connectors uh, in the springs on the bottom for battery connectors, and the top for lacking mechanism. So, uh, having all those constraints, spacing, you have to make sure that the part. Uh, pulled out a, a 50 degree angle to meet all those requirements and fits. Uh, so it, it took time uh, to, to do this part, especially like I said, it took these six iterations to get it to the point where it's not actually uh, producible. Anyway. As you can see, it's a uh, this part is being uh, produced today for both the healthcare and the uh, general market, uh, grocery stores, and stuff like that. So it allows you to scan uh, without having to lift the scanner, or you can also lift the scanner and scan it. Uh, the tool, like I said, is very easily it integrates into Pro V, so it's actually part of my work environment. Uh, the pull-down menu with GFM Pro is out on the top uh, of the menus. 
So if I need to, I need to do an analysis, I just go to the Android Pro, run it, tell them that it's a plastic part, give it the location of, of the full direction that I want to go through, and then go ahead and have it execute. Uh, it does take a little bit of time, um, but in the analysis will, it will need to be in the analysis to take time, if you do a draft analysis, it takes time. But the value of the results you know, helps. That. Like I said, it's quick and easy, and once you do it, um, you, you get into the habit of doing it, I actually you know, get the benefit of making sure, like I said, the best that it can this part makes it uh, so that it's all done once, uh, and it's uh, easy to produce. All right, you look at the review, each results, and then actually investigate a little bit further, fix the results, run it again, and make sure that, uh, that there is enough support for the wall thickness that is the wall, that there's no rounds. You can see here there's no missing rounds. So all those type of things are crucial to making sure that there's a part that's in that space. So uh, the DFM Pro has good capabilities for Maintaining um, wall thicknesses, so it gives you actual locations of where the wall thicknesses are incorrect, whether they're too small or too big compared to your um, required part um, design integrity. Uh, it reduces changing after tooling, so by fixing these problems ahead, I don't have to uh, you know, fix the problems during tooling, which Usually costs money and it's uh, not very good or for, for you or something. Uh, quick and interactive feedback on the design. It is it depends on the model. Some models you know take really very quick. Some models in the complexity of the model will determine the time it takes. But we're doing this on a day-to-day basis. We don't only talk in seconds, minutes, uh, or each part that you do. Uh, the time that it takes you to actually understand the results and being able to fix those results so that the part can fix it appropriately. Um, got a healthy focus on the design, making sure I meet all the requirements for the design as well as the requirements for manufacturing this part. Uh, it's easy to learn, uh, only a couple of steps and we get results. So it's not uh, complicated, it's easy for to push out to other users. And, Several years we actually like. Uh, how many guys are engineers? We have a couple of guys. These are all problems that we face and that we face it. So it's good to have uh, something, somebody else like on your back. So I think of this as like a spell checker. So it's another way for some, somebody else to look at it, pinpoint things that you may have missed or thought of, not thought of at the time. Um, and then uh, it ensures that the you know, parts are well designed, product streams, getting that early feedback from manufacturers and things on these parts are beneficial. And like I said, if, if I can fix 20% you know, of the issues by making sure the design is good, then I can now worry about the other issues of the downstream manufacturing process. So their model helped us work with them to make sure that was available. So all our engineers have this installed and we push them to, to make sure that they, they run this one. So prior to review, the first question was asked by the managers, did you run this up to the end of Pro? For us, personally, I'll run it like two, three times just because I want to make sure that I fix the issue so it doesn't show up and that when I go to a review, uh, my leads and my managers don't say, hey, <laughs> you only have one issue, which is good, or when you have 10 issues, they are like, it doesn't look good. So you have to go back. Personally, I like to use it as like a special. I have to do it when it's necessary, or I personally have to do it. So I guess with that, uh, thank you for your attendance. Let's give Paul a hand.